Mike and shit. Yes, sir. We out here, man. We are at Exotica. Uh, this is the test of time, man. It's time to see if I got that dog in me. You know what I'm saying? When we step in here, you know what I mean? I got to be with it. Uh, I'm going Scooby-Doo. I'm going uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog. You know what I mean? Uh, who else we got? Airbud was a bitch, huh? Wishbone. Wishbone was a real nigga. So, yeah, today I'm going to prove I got that dog in me. We leaving out of here with, with something. Only fans, porn star, something under the arm. I'm going to tangle them, wrangle them, mangle them. than I anticipated. They doing, they doing chat you bait. You see us? Huh? You see us? You know, we got VIP passes, media passes, big time. You know what I mean? This ain't no little boy shit. Uh, they are doing chat you bait right to my left. I don't want to look to my left because I seen a nigga about to undress. But to my like 35 degree left, ass and titties ass and titties. I see you trying to wiggle over there. <laughs> oh, yo, bro. He got his meat out. All right. We got to go. We got All right. Y'all see it. She's showing off that bag. I ain't never seen no hey, shit like hey, that. Let them look at that bag. They see it. Sucking dick. Taking dick all on the bag. This is my bag. This is my bag. That's just a little bit of training for the bitches that are watching out there. Okay. But they learn how to suck a dick. There you go. Talk your shit. Yeah, motherfucker, y'all cannot be praying when y'all gonna suck some dick. Or either you take it all or you just don't take it, bitch. Don't fake it. You suck the balls? I suck the balls and that ass too. Oh, she nasty. She you nasty. already know. You better go all the way down. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. Listen, in bed, ain't no, oh, I don't do this, I don't do that. Fuck that shit. Drain the motherfucker balls and snatch that fucking soul. That's what I, hey, you just became my favorite. Yeah? Oh, of course, I won the war. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is amazing, actually. So, I just looked at their banner. It says, Jesus loves sex workers. It's true. Jesus does love sex workers, and he loves you, too. I could, I mean, I'm, I'm with you. What brought this about? So, um... A variety of teams have been doing this for actually since day one with Exotica and so we're here just sharing the message of grace that it doesn't matter what you've done, what you're doing or what you're about to go do, nothing separates you from the love of God. Hey, that's amazing. That's amazing. Are you in sex work yourself? No, I used to work in a strip club back in Seattle where I'm from, but that was a long time ago. But all of us, even if we haven't been in the industry, have a heart to share this message with the people who are and the people who are consumers of it. So that's a, that's good. That's good. So do y'all preach like the word to each other or to each other? I mean, I guess our job though here isn't to preach. It's just to let people know and remind people that they're loved exactly where they are. So that's why we say Jesus loves sex workers, as in a very present tense. We're not trying to get anybody to quit or change careers or do anything like that in order to obtain the love of Jesus. They have it right now where they are. That's amazing. Hey, look, I definitely appreciate that. I would have never known. We stopped because they offered some chocolate. And I asked if I was going to get an erection. I thought I'd be walking around like this guy behind you, El. Turn around. We'll catch that joke later. <laughs> I appreciate it. Do you want to tell the people anything before we go? Jesus loves sex workers and Jesus loves you. I appreciate it. This is REO Podcast. We done resurrected Hugh Hefner from the dead. Y'all see him. He came to Exotica with a pretty thing. Absolutely. You know, I'm glad to be back in this life because 
what basically happened, you know, I did pass away. Right. However, when they got me to the funeral parlor, I had so much Viagra in me, they couldn't close the coffin. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's good. I thought you was going to say you missed the pussy, so. No, so I resurrected. I resurrected. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> Were you there for the resurrection? No. Unfor oh, I Unfortunately, I was not. I thought you might have caused it. <laughs> no, that was Kendra. Oh, I heard that. You, you do got a stable, right? Uh, not anymore. You keep it slim? Crystal would not be happy. I hear that. I hear that. Well, look, we appreciate your time. Samantha, Bethany, Tr uh, Tristan, all of them. So you saying he lying to me? No, he's not lying. He's <laughs> one of them. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. How many she, girls do you have? She's the boss. <laughs> How many girls do you have? I don't know. I ran out of fingers and toes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, we appreciate you. you. <laughs> Here with the beautiful Kazumi. Hi, that's me. I'm, the, I'm with... Joe, are your podcast. Hello, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, how's your day been today? It's been pretty good. I've been selling a lot of prints and t-shirts. This is my ass. Ass look good. I got to be honest. Thank you. Yes, There's indeed. There's a lot of big ass over here, though. It has been, but I think you trump them. Like there's like some big ass. Yeah, I see some huge ass. But it's all about how I look too now. Yours is nice and rotund. Oh yes indeed, yes indeed, 100 percent And then I mean I think quality of feel. Yeah. How would you rate my ass? That's a top tier ass now. Can I can I what you pass? Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> Talk your shit, talk your shit. So, we've seen you on No Jumper and such before. Oopsie. Sorry. How long have you been in the uh, industry? Uh, about like two years. You skyrocketed in Thank this two you. years, right? Thank you. Have you seen my pizza truck outside? I'm sorry? If you go outside, my pizza truck is outside. Oh, yeah, I was fucking, yeah. <laughs> So you got the pizza truck, you do the content. I mean, you taking over the game, right? Yeah, uh, yeah that's what I'm doing. Do you encourage for people to get into uh, OnlyFans and such? I mean, I, it, I encourage people if it seems like it's something that they're comfortable doing already and they already have tried sex works and if they're still at like a whole social, big social stigma about it. Yes, indeed. What are some of the challenges you face with it? I think a lot of people, well, as an online sex worker, it's a lot more marketing and promotions than anything. It's more customer service than actually making porn. So you have to be kind of, like, kind of savvy with social media and the internet. I hear that. I hear that. Uh, let them know where they can find you at. Hi, my OnlyFans and my Instagram is Kazumi's World. And if you mention Miami on my OnlyFans, I'll send you a video of me getting fucked hard. Hey, well, y'all definitely want to tap into that. Go and follow Kazumi. We appreciate your time. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. But man, talk to the people, man. We out here at Exotica. How long you been doing this shit? Shit, four years since I was in high school. You say how long? Four years since I was in high school. Oh, you a legend with this shit, man. Four years. He started in high school with this shit. You the Kobe Bryant of, 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 of porn. I'm just trying to do my thing, you feel me? One day at a time. Hey, you making a good name for yourself out here, man. Appreciate it. You bring any sand to the beach? What? Did you bring sand to the beach? Why you gonna bring sand to the beach? It's already at the beach. You said what? Why you gonna bring sand to the beach? You already at the beach. Talk to the people. Y'all heard it here from Lil D, man. I appreciate your time. see the sights, see the beautiful ladies, just have a good time, just get away from where I'm from, so uh, that's why I'm here, I love Miami, so uh, uh, thought I'd try out at Exotica, and I'm glad I came out. I heard that. What's the best thing you've seen today? 
Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Best thing I've seen today. I'm going to just, so I don't get myself in trouble, I'm going to just say I've seen a lot of beautiful ladies today. And I'm going to keep it at that to keep it politically correct. I heard that. I heard that. Who's your favorite porn star? My favorite porn star. Woo! Loaded question again. But uh, I'm going to give a shout out to a few of them. Uh, Alex Cole is one of my favorites. Very beautiful person. Um, even though she's not in the game no more, I, I got mad love for Lisa Ann. Uh, another beautiful person as well. Uh, just got to beat Alexis, Texas. Uh, another great person. Um, love what she did up here with the uh, twerk contest and everything. Let's go on and on and on. But I'm just giving them shouts out. And uh, like I said, a lot, lot more in the game. So I, I got a lot of love for all the ladies. For sure, for sure. Uh, is this your first Exotica experience? Yes, it is. This is the first one. And like I said, I am glad. Uh, I've had people try to talk me into coming out for the last three or four years maybe and I'm glad I decided to uh, finally do this and I look forward to coming back again next year as well. So you'll definitely be back. Oh yeah, most definitely I'll be back brother. Alright. It's the Freak Bull Convention. Huh? I say this is the Freak Bull Convention. <laughs> you might be going for chairman. Oh. Woo. Hey, I tell you this, this place can't get you some trouble, but hey, it's, I got nothing but love for everybody, though, so hey, all good, all good times, man. I heard that. Well, I appreciate your time, man. All right, so I'm here with Miss Candy, and the little birdie told me that you just so happen to be from Jacksonville. Well, how you know that? <laughs> we from the city, too. Oh, yeah? So we got a little podcast, REO podcast. We want to see if we can get you on. Yeah, I'll get on there. I don't talk a lot, though. We'll make you talk now. <laughs> is this your first time here at Exotica? It is. What do you think so far? It's exciting. It's, it's, it's different. <laughs> What's the wildest thing you've seen? Yesterday with like a different color mask. Yeah. Oh, he bought that. So let me ask you this: What's the wildest thing you've been asked since you've been out here? I actually haven't been asked anything too crazy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, are you planning to go to the next Exotica event? I'm sure they want to see that ass all over the nation, so. Take your ass to that next Exotica. I will. Well, like I say, when we get back to Jax, we're going we're gonna to invite you to the studio. Yes, get me up, okay? Let the people know where they can find you. Only fans, I want candy with an I, X, X. We appreciate you. All right, so we are out here at Exotica. What's your name? Nika Venom. Angie. All right, so Miss Venom here is actually in content creation. And Angie, y'all are together, right? All right, so how has that been for you? It's fun. It's fun. Do you do the content together? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. She doesn't really show her face, but she's very, very helpful. If not, she's always my videographer. She's like my number one fan. Well, there you go. Uh, have did did y'all meet while you were already doing? Okay. How did how did you feel? Um, I don't know. I was kind of thrown into it, so it was all new to me. How's it been for you? It's been great. That's good. That's good. Whose idea was it to come out here to Exotica? Wait. Uh, oh, actually, maybe. Maybe. Okay. So I've been in the industry for a long time, but I was only doing fetish, and I just now ventured into like mainstream porn. 
However, I've only been doing it for less than a year, so I thought it wouldn't be a great idea to come because I don't have that much experience in this realm yet, but she kind of convinced me. That's good. So you've only been out here for a short time now. How's it been for you? Have you seen any wild things, anything that has inspired you, anything like that? So as far as inspired, I say more to be myself and not give a fuck what people think. But wild, not really. No, I started in femdom, so I'm used to like, sorry, this is going to hurt you, but like ball busting, like impact play, whipping. So this is easy for me. That would definitely hurt me. I just know, the, I know. Just the sound of it is like, that's, that's exactly what I was like, I'm sorry. Like, damn, I'm going to be limping out of here, you know? Only, only to consenting and eager participants. White men. Huh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Ain't no brother getting his balls kicked. No. Actually, actually, there's one, and he can take more than a lot of people. I did too. Oh, you were there? Yeah, she was there. He put his dick on a board, oh, and yeah. they stomped yeah. on it with heels. It's like you cut a hole into like the wooden board, then he puts his dick through it, and then I'm stomping on it with heels. And he can come just from that. Yeah, bro. He's insane. He's, it's impressive. That's crazy. It That's was, crazy. I, I felt so bad. I was like, yo. How did you feel about the fetish and femdom porn? Um, I never really dabbled into it until her, so it was it was weird. I'm not even gonna lie. I was like, what the fuck? Right. But then after some time, I was just like, all right, whatever. Do you watch it now? Nah, I don't watch it. She kind of ruined porn for me. I'm gonna be real. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. What what makes it tough to watching porn for you now? Cause she knows a lot of them, so if like. She was like, oh, I know her. I'm about, to, I'm about to work with her. And then I'm like, oh, okay. Like. All right, I got one more question for y'all. Who's your favorite porn star? Angela White. Nika Venom. <laughs> Good answer. Good. <laughs> I appreciate y'all time. Let the people know where they can find your content. NikaVenom.com. All right, y'all check out. Instagram, anything like that? My Instagram just got deleted, but my new Instagram is Let Nika Live. Please, Instagram, let me live. <laughs> hey, well, thanks again. Thanks again. So, uh, what's your name, if you don't mind me starting there? Sika Black. How long have you been in the industry? I've been in the industry maybe almost four, four years now. Four years? Okay. What, what got you in? Oh, swinging at first, and then of course my hubby went and posted me on uh, porn sites, and that's how I, I got here. He, he started a porn site for me, and uh, he, he edits, he does all the videoing now, and of course I'm only interracial, I love black men. Okay, okay. Um, and uh, what is the wildest thing you've done since you've been in the industry? The wildest thing is when I have fucked seven guys, a gangbang, and had all holes filled and enjoying everything in my hand. <laughs> I was just wild. I got, I got hornier and came a lot more. That was it. That, I loved it. And uh, what is your favorite sexual experience? I'd have to say that one. That one right there, the gangbang. I hear that. All right, all right. Uh, how many exoticas have you been to before? I think this is my fourth one now. Okay, yeah. okay. How's it been for you today? Oh my God, it's been so busy. I've had so many fans come up to me and uh, a lot of women actually telling me that I've been a great incentive for them to get out here okay. at, at any age because I'm 68 now. Okay. So I've got a lot of... Uh, people watching me I guess and um, I'm getting very popular and I love it because I'm having fun that's good that's amazing tell the people where they can find your content I'm all over um, I've got my own website seekablack.net and then I am I'm on OnlyFans many vids I'm on Chattermate and then Streammates and then I have my own Skype but I have um, a link tree which is, and you'll find me everywhere, is uh, Linktree slash Sika slash Black. Sika is S-E-K-A dash Black. Okay, okay. Well, we definitely appreciate your time.
<laughs> Thank you for the interview. <laughs> Hey, we see you over here doing your thing. Just wanted to stop and commend you. I mean, you out here looking good as hell. Thank you. Don't forget to commend in tips, though. Yes, indeed. Y'all heard it. Sign up for OnlyFans, everything like that. Y'all tap in with her. When, when, we do so much that I can't even do here. Trust me, you're going to love it. Y'all heard it here. Right, so we're here with Miss Kiki Cloud. What's up? You looking good. You, I, I was walking past. She stopped. She said, yo, your shirt all white. I'm going to put some flavor to it. Yep, you're damn right. Had to add a little touch. I appreciate that. How long you been in the game? Going on four years in September. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, I, I'm honestly, yeah. I'm, I'm getting there. I just, so crazy, just got nominated for the Urban X Awards for Rising Star, so. Big salute, big salute. Vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for me. <laughs> Is this your first Exotica? No. No, I did Chicago, New Jersey. Uh, this is my third or fourth one here. I've, I've been, I've been doing them. <laughs> you making your rounds? Hey, look, it sounds like you working for that, uh, th for that nominee. I'm working so fucking hard. <laughs> you gonna get that shit? You look good too. Thanks. I give you a spin. Okay, okay. <laughs> you got some yams back there too, now. I mean, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting all that. I don't think you were paying attention. <laughs> you got lost up here. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, well, look, we definitely appreciate your time. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate you giving me the time to talk. Indeed. Tell the people where they can find you. You guys can find me on Instagram. It's Kiki the Snack. That's the same as my TikTok. And then my Twitter is at Cloud Kiki. That's the same as my OnlyFans. Or you can just Google me. There you go. We appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Sure. We are here with Miss Nene Irene. Yes, hey, what's good, y'all? Tell the people where they can find your content at. Um, on my Instagram, it's nyny underscore Irene, I-R-E-N-E. -E. And you can find it on... What's the wildest thing on your OnlyFans? I would say me um, fucking a girl with a strap on. That's the wildest thing, cause I was really fucking her, like, like a nigga, like I was really pounding her. Hey, well look, y'all heard it. Go tap in with her OnlyFans. She say she getting it in on there. Y'all check out. Y'all see the ass. All natural. All natural. She say she ain't playing with her. My name is Kita Rain. And you are out here selling an experience. That's right. A wonderful, beautiful experience. Can I read off your menu real quick? Of course. So we got Tickle My Kitty for $30. That's right. Bend Me Over for $25. <laughs> Oil Me Up is $20. Uh -huh. Take a Flick, $20. And Smack My Ass is $30. Yeah. Can I see that ass? That's a big ass to be smacking now. And I just had a nice smack, so I feel good. How long have you been out here? Uh, well, like today or like event? Event. Because this is my second event. Okay. Yeah, I love exotic. Okay. I can be fun. I have to do what I do on my OnlyFans. Tell them where they can find your OnlyFans. You can find me at OnlyFans.com forward slash Kita Rain. Let me ask you this. R-E-I-G-N, R-E-I-G-N. What is the wildest thing you've seen today? Oh, the wildest thing I've seen? Oh, there was like a guy on stilts. Like his platforms were so high. 
like when I tell you the vibes was high and he was wearing all white with like gold gold everywhere like his whole body covered in gold like Trinidad James yeah times 10 he was working and had me what's the wildest thing you've done whether at this event or on your OnlyFans um on my OnlyFans man I like to um I like to cook naked and and when I do it I mean I put a little of my juices on everything so yeah that's about the craziest thing that I do on my OnlyFans I mean she say she put her juices on everything y'all heard that you feel me and they, you gonna love it they say the quickest way to a man's heart is through his, his belly <laughs> Hey, look, I appreciate you taking the time. One more time, tell them where they can find you at. Oh, you can definitely find me on IG, Kedarain LLC, or you can find me on OnlyFans.com forward slash Keda, R-E-I-G-N. We appreciate it as well. Real quick, what's up with the Twister? Oh, yeah, so we've been doing Twister all night. That's the, that's the bet me over. So you bet $25 in my 10 and we play Twister, or you can watch me do it. I don't give a fuck. Man, y'all get down here to Exotica. Come check out Miss Kitty Rain. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are here with the legendary Miss Darling Nikki. Hi. That smile, good Lord. How your day been? It's going pretty great, actually. That's good, that's good. Is this your first Exotica? This is my first time as an exhibitor. Okay, okay. So you've come out to experience it before? Yeah. What did you think? It's so hot and horny. <laughs> Is that what got you into content creation, or how did that start about for you? Um, yeah. I was kind of hot and horny, and I personally love being watched. Um, so yeah, I started out camming, and things kind of blew up from there. I see, I see. You got your porn playing behind you. Looking good, looking good. Somebody came to steal some suckers. They trying to get like you. <laughs> so, um... How, how, how often do you plan to attend these Exotica events as, a, as an exhibitor, that is? So I'm actually switching up my profession and I'm getting into sex therapy and couples coaching. Okay. Um, so next time you'll see me here, I'll probably be over in like a sexologist corner doing my shit. Got you, got you. Now when you say couples coaching, are you talking about teaching them how to make love to each other? Yeah, how to be more intimate, how to deepen their connection, how to communicate better in the bedroom, and if they're polyamorous, maybe how to open it up a little bit. Okay, okay. And so will you be stepping away from content creation at that point? Or just switching the content? I'm going to definitely have to take a little step back and make sure that I give this new stuff my full attention. But that don't mean that I'm all the way out because, again, I really enjoy being in front of that camera. I hear that, I hear that. Well, let, let the fans know where they can find you at. Y'all can find me on OnlyFans.com slash DarlingNikki. I'm also on Twitter at XDarlingNikki. And I'm on Instagram at Nicole underscore Nawaz. Alright, now y'all go and spam her accounts. Lock into that OnlyFans. She says she about to switch it up, so go and get all of it now. Y'all see them titties. Can you do a spin for us? Look at that ass. Look at that ass. Look at that smile, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Darling Nikki, we appreciate your time. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so we are here with Miss Vanna Bardot. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Is that French? Yes. That's nice. Nice little touch. <laughs> so what, what draw, drew us over, we saw you butt naked over here, looking good. The body is thank nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a petite guy myself. Yeah. I like to pretzel them up, flip them. Yeah. Is this your first time at Exotica? No, it's my uh, second time at the Miami one. Okay, so you've been to a few. Uh, I've been to the Denver one a couple times in the past. Got you, got you. How long have you been in the industry? Four years. That makes you a vet, right? Uh, no, I don't think you're a vet until you're in like, I think like eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Okay, that's a, that's a long time in porn. And how long do you plan? Uh, as long as I can. As long as I feel like it. I heard that. That body banging. I think you got a long time ahead of you. Uh, thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank
out here live in person, live and direct with Miss Gorgeous Afro. <laughs> Hi. I feel like this was a long time coming. Very long time. I feel like I'm very much owed an official interview still in, you know, your little area. This one don't count, okay? All right, got you. We got to bring you to Jacksonville, that's for sure. That's right, that's right. <laughs> So you say you've been having a pretty good day today, right? Of course. Sales are going great. The fans are fun. And it's all fun. Do they? How many pictures have you taken today? I didn't count. A lot? A little? It's a lot. Um, it's a lot every day, mostly. I could imagine. People want to see that ass, don't they? Most definitely. You know, now it's 52 inches naturally, so people are like, you know. <laughs> Can you do a spin for us? Now, this is the first time my fans get to see you, so. Of course, because I did my last interview in pajamas. <laughs> so I'm sure they'll be appreciative of this. Of course. Now, you say this is your eighth Exotica? Yeah, so in 2019, I did all of them. And last year, I did two. And I did one earlier this year. I have, I'm at this one, and there's two more that I'll be doing. You're not playing no games. You're taking over the market. Of course, of course. You ain't see my merch, I gotta take over the market. Talk to him, talk to him. And what are you sitting at currently? What are you, uh, OnlyFans, I know you were top tier. Where you at right now? I have no idea, I don't check that shit. I don't care. You just watch the money come in. Okay. <laughs> when the money comes in, the money comes in. But I'll tell you, I'm less than the top five. There it is, there it is. Yo, we talking to big time, Miss Gorgeous Afro. I don't want to take up too much of your time, because I'd imagine there's a whole bunch of people mad at us right now just, just for even doing this interview. They want to bark at you. No, interviews are perfectly fine. That's what the convention's for. Oh, well, that's perfect then. That's perfect. <laughs> uh, it looks like you got a sale right now. Possibly. All right, so we are here with a couple twins. Let me, let me start by asking this. Whose idea was it to come? Damn. Oh, not even y'all's? No, no, we just got invited. Y'all got dragged out here. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. All right, so tell the people, what's your names? Kenny. Brian. And you say this is your first time out here, right? Yeah. Yes. What do y'all think? It's an experience. That an experience, yeah, first time, yeah. For sure. I say it's a lot to, to ingest, a lot to take in all at once, right? Well, first, time, first, sorry, first time experience, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I say a lot to take in. Yeah. Do y'all have any favorites as, as y'all have walked around? Go for Alexis, Texas. Where was Alexis, Texas? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I needed to see that ass. Oh, so, over there now, taking pictures and signing autographs. Okay, got you, got you. And uh, do y'all have any 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 personal favorites that y'all are hoping to see out here tonight? Uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just enjoying the view for everyone. <laughs> I heard that. Oh, uh, one girl that I was hoping to see, I guess, is uh, damn, what, Angela White. Angela White's a good one. Yeah. So Sarah Lace is one of my favorites. If I find her running around here somewhere, we might have to shut this shit down. Um, let me ask y'all this. How would your parents feel if you both came home with porn stars? Wait, what? How would your parents feel if you both came home with porn stars? Uh, probably none too happy. Yeah, probably not too happy. <laughs> what do you think the first response would be? They go, go to, out. <laughs> they go to church. Ah, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> what do you think your parents would say if you guys did OnlyFans? If you were on OnlyFans? As long as we're bringing in money, I don't think they would care. <laughs> I heard that. Probably the same answer. I mean, we probably wouldn't be living in a house, but yeah. They support the hustle. <laughs> hey, well, look, we definitely appreciate it, man. All right, so they're all out here together. Is this y'all's first Exotica? Uh, it's our second. We were in Chicago this year. Okay, okay. How, <laughs> how are you liking Miami? We oh, love Miami. We're here once a month. Yeah, we're here all the time. Okay, where are you from? Uh, we're from the Midwest. Okay, okay. A little, little bit of a travel for you. Yeah. Did y'all come down just for Exotica? Uh, we came down to, make, to work, to make work, content. Yeah. The work is here. It's not It's not at home, unfortunately. Got you, got you. Do you both do content creation? We yeah, do. we do. Yeah. Follow me on Twitter, NattyB223. 
Carrot Top XX. I w Carrot Top with a K. <laughs> okay. I was going to ask if you get that a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course I do. I could imagine. But does it play into the content creation? A little bit. I, I kind of have that, like, your lesbian daddy vibe going on. And so. You get some muscle fetish. Yeah, stuff. some muscle shit. And everybody, since they're always like, is that Carrot Top? I was like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You should just break out a skateboard one day, you know what I mean? A snowboard, do the Sean White. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Just jump on the band with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if my coordination is like that, you know. I, I can give it a go. I'll it break go. my neck trying that <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, well, look, um, tell the people where they can find your content. Um, we're on OnlyFans and Minivids. Um, all that's linked in Twitter and Instagram bios. Um, Instagram, I'm, I'm Nat underscore BK underscore. And yours is the same, I think, right? Um, on my Instagram and Twitter are the same. They're just K, Carrot Top, XX. Well, there it is. Y'all check them out. I, I mean, they got a lot of content. They're doing different things. They're married out here, second Exotica. Yeah. We're filming an orgy tomorrow, 18 people. That's you know. We're going to have a booth at the New Jersey Exotica as well. Yep, come find us in New Jersey. We'll be selling nudes. How long have y'all been doing this? Uh, about, about two years. years. And what got you into it? We were trying to pay for our wedding. It That's started, what's up. It started out as a joke. I was like, damn, babe, you're hot. You should start an OnlyFans. Like, people would definitely want to see you naked. And she was like, nah, I don't know. And then she was like, I eventually tired of me being like, start a fucking OnlyFans, bitch. And so she was like, you sign me up, and I'm in there. And then it just took off from there, honestly. I quit my, I quit my job within two months. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So to somebody that's looking to get into OnlyFans, what would you recommend? Um, I would recommend to have thick skin. Don't get into it if you get your feelings hurt easy. There is a lot of um, letdowns. There is a lot of things that you're not going to qualify for. You're going to get turned down for. There's going to be haters no matter where you go. Um, but as far as promotion, I would say Twitter, Instagram, networking with other creators is going to be your number one form of gaining subscribers. And staying out of the drama. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, there it is. If y'all looking to get into it, y'all heard it here first. Check them out. Tap into uh, their Twitter and Instagram. The links for their OnlyFans is in there. Go check it all out. Thank oh, yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all see it. We got... It's Majesty motherfucking nasty. I ain't even have to introduce her. <laughs> hey, who would have thought we'd bump into you? I know. That's crazy. I literally was just trying to text you. That's the funny part. I'm glad we did. Me too. All right, now. Uh, how long have you been here today? Um, I didn't see you earlier. I was. I got here like. <laughs> I got here like 7:30. Okay. Okay. I really did see you. And then I went. They were trying to get me to do that spring contest. I don't know about that one. Why not? You probably would have shut them down. See, look. Up there shaking his ass. Oh. I heard that. I respect that 100%. <laughs> they only said 500. They said might 500. That ain't enough. That ain't good for the brand. That ain't good for the brand. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. Hey, well, look, it is definitely a pleasure seeing you. Is this your first time out here? Yes, it is. My first time inside a camper. What do you think about it? It's different. It feel like there's a, a whole bunch of porn stars in one room. Would you prefer them naked? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite porn star? Um, oh, that's hard. Um, Alexis, Texas. Um, what is her name? Kira. Kira. She has dreads. Yes, Kira yes, yeah. her. Those are my top two right now. Okay. Have you seen Alexis, Texas today? She's here? Yeah, she's here. Oh, woo! She was hosting the tour contest from what I heard, yeah. Oh, I see him on the <laughs> you fucked up. You <laughs> fucked up. And you were the one that found her. I really would have been Show the people your body. Turn it, do a spin for her real quick. She got that ass out. I was gonna come way more naked, but my outfit didn't go as planned. Get ripped, so it's okay. It's okay. Damn. I you, made some shape. But you're gonna be out here tomorrow, right? I'm not sure yet. I came yesterday and today. Okay, I got you, I got you. Are you coming back to Exotica? I'll probably do New Jersey next. But other than that, Miami, yeah. This is fun, but yeah, no, probably not Miami, but. I hear that, I hear that. All right.
All right, well, look, I appreciate you. Tell the people where they can follow you. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Madison Nasty 2 or Instagram, the Madison Nasty. Either one. Tell them about your OnlyFans, too, now. Oh, yeah. Your fave, Majesty, Majesty 728. Either one. Y'all can follow me at either one. Y'all definitely want to tap in and check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, we out here at Exotica. I done ran into my favorite. Oh, my God. Miss Willow Ryder, the best in the game. How you feeling today? I feel so good. Today has been a really good day. You looking damn good, too. Can we get you to spin around for us? You want to see the goods? Yeah, let me see that. What I'm known for? I'll make a clap for you. Y'all see it, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, she's making my day today. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, go my go. God. Oh, my God. Hey. So, we were talking before we did the interview. We're going to try and bring her up to Jacksonville, get an exclusive interview. Yeah, no, I'd love to talk with you guys. For sure. Is this your first Exotica? It is. How do you feel about it? It's been really cool because I didn't expect, you know, people to come up to me and know my name. So I like this. I like the fun party environment. You are you doing any after partying after this? We'll see. Honestly, I go home and go to sleep, but I may I make it out. I think everybody's trying to decide now. So I know. I hear I hear of some places, but we'll see. We'll see where the night takes me. It's gonna be a wild night from the looks of it. Everybody out here horny as hell. So literally. <laughs> Hey, look, we appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you so much for talking with me. Let everybody know where they can find you at. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, my at is Willow Ryder, R-Y-D-E-R. -E so, yeah, just search me and you'll find me. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.